Well, high alert in Spain after explosives were mailed to high profile people and locations. One person was injured at Ukraine's embassy in Madrid. Packages destined for the U.S. Embassy, Spain's Defense Ministry, a European Union office, and a grenade making facility were all intercepted, including a bomb sent to Spain's prime minister last month. Let's bring in David Tafuri, worked at the State Department during the Obama and George W. Bush administrations. David, thank you so much for being with us. So we're talking about a total of six different explosives sent to different locations. Any indications as to who or what could be behind this? So these letter bombs are shrouded in mystery at this point right now. We don't know if this was a lone wolf actor or if this was organized by a group or perhaps an intelligence agency. The one thing that seems to link each of them is they seem to have targeted uh, countries or companies that are supporting the effort in Ukraine against Russia. So there's a suspicion that Russia is behind this, but no evidence so far. And that's what the Spanish authorities will be looking at very closely as they investigate who might have sent these. They were apparently sent from inside Spain and how they sent them. So how are they going to investigate this, David? How do they try to determine who's behind it and, and what their motive may be? Well, they're going to be analyzing the handwriting on the letters. They're going to be analyzing the type of explosive that was used, um, how it was made, whether it was sophisticated, the type of sophisticated of explosive that an intelligence agency would likely do, or whether it was something more crude that a person could have done on their own. That will be part of it. And they'll also be trying to trace where they were sent from. And I have to imagine, I mean, this just puts everyone, all, all of the, the law enforcement officials on high alert because there's the concern that more of these could be coming. That's correct. You know, the U U.S. embassies around the world are targets. We know that already. We have great security at our embassies and we have lots of protocols to protect against something like this. That's why, in part, the letter did not make it to the U.S. embassy, although one letter did make it to the Ukrainian embassy in Spain. So now all embassies in Spain should be on alert, especially those who are part of the NATO coalition who are supporting Ukraine in its uh, defense against the invasion by Russia. Uh, but the U.S. embassies are probably across the world are on alert as well because of this. Absolutely. All right, David, uh, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank a Texas you. man was arrested. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.